Hey everybody, it's Rot with you again, and we're going to be doing another episode of LSPDFR, and today I have a little bit of news. I have been in communication with Albo1125, and he has given me permission to use Police Smart Radio. There it is on the bottom of the screen. Uh, down in the description below is going to be a link to basically an instructional video of how to get it set up and, and all the, the beginnings. This is a beta version. So it's not released yet. So don't blow up Albo. Don't tell him that, hey, Runt said that your stuff is available. It's not. But I'm, I've been given the opportunity to show you guys what this mod is and how it works and so forth. And so far, I'm loving it. I can't wait till Albo releases it, and neither can you guys, I bet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back here. We're going to check our gear. We've got a pistol. We've got a stun gun. We've got a rifle, shotgun, nightstick, flashlight. We've got our traffic cones and fire extinguisher and all that neat stuff in the car. We're going to go ahead and tell the dispatcher that we are available and we're going to hop in the car and get ready to go. And in the meantime, while we're waiting for a call, in my last video, uh, I had somebody ask me... Oh. We've got a possible 148 on... Great Ocean Highway. 222, I'm on my way. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get over here and see if we can find this person. Somebody's seen him. There's cougars everywhere. I see cougars. I don't see anybody. Suspect last seen on Great Ocean Highway. Holy crap. Alrighty, let's see if we can get up there. Oh, that trailer, that truck has no lights on its trailer. Well, it didn't have any lights on its trailer. Suspect last seen on Great Ocean Highway. Holy crap. Oh, well, Dispatch 222, can you advise uh, Los Santos Sheriff's Department and maybe city uh, that person's gone out of my area. Alrighty, so... Suspect last seen on Great Ocean Highway. Alrighty, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. And we have told dispatch that we are not going to take that call. And that's one of the cool things about Police Smart Radio. Now, while we're waiting on another call, uh, in my last video, somebody asked me to explain how, as a police officer, I can basically charge somebody with driving under the influence, DWI, or driving while intoxicated, you know, uh, whatever. It's semantics. It's the same charge, even though they blow under the legal limit. And I've gone over this multiple times, but I'm, I'm going to take a few seconds here and I'm going to explain it. Basically, as a police officer, if I can articulate through what I see, the questions I ask, and so forth, that someone is behind the wheel of a car and they are driving while intoxicated or impaired of either alcohol or drugs, then I can charge them with DUI. Now, a lot of people are going to take that as they're going to be convicted. No. Attention unit 2, Robert 22. Citizens report a DUI on Procopio Promenade. 222, I'm on my way. Now, case in point... Here's this person. And... Yeah, I know I'm kind of breaking the law to get there, but... Okay, yeah, they're... Dispatch 222. I see that person. Uh, we'll be stopping them. Stand by one. We're going to get up here. We're going to actually run their plate. Oh. Target vehicle license plate. Six zero John Adam Zebra two zero zero a traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Dispatch two twenty two receive. Thank you. We'll be stopping that vehicle uh, westbound Route One in the uh, corner 
so what I'm gonna do I'm trying to get them off the side of the road as far as I can without bringing them right into the uh, the wall here alrighty so now that I've got them here what I'm what I'm gonna explain is there's a difference between when I charge somebody with DUI Dispatch 222, that person's running. Stand by. Okay, so now they're fleeing. You stop your Come on now. now. This is not a good choice for you. Come on. Now I'm trying to use pursuit deterrence, and so far it's not working very good. Come on now. Yeah, uh, dispatch 222. Uh, it doesn't look like this person is wanting to. Uh... We're gonna ask for a pit. Uh, we are cleared to pit, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to get this push bar up here. Holy shit. Oh! Get out of the car. Stop the Just stop doing. right there. Alright. Uh, and I'm going to run their name, so we are not available. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code 4. No further units required. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name. Valid with no warrants. Fine and dandy by me. All right, buddy. Being as we were going to stop you for DUI in the first place, let's see if you got any alcohol in your system. And I bet you you do because you were all over the road. And you did. And we're going to see if you had any drugs in your system that impaired your ability to make a decision that it was a smart thing to do to stop. And nothing. All right. Fantastic. You got anything in your pockets tonight? Oops. That's not the button I wanted to hit. I wanted to search him. Nothing adventurous. All right, buddy. Get in the car here. Really didn't do that Check much damage car. to either NBA. car. Uh, really low speed. That was kind of optimum for doing a pit. Uh, you know, realistically... Uh, it's not... You know, you don't do pits at high speed... Uh, just because it has the capability of really, uh, you're putting about f f five tons of steel that's in motion, uh, into an uncontrolled situation. And that's generally not a good idea. So we had, a, we had an opening in this curve and we took it and it worked out to our advantage. Let's see, a children's book about an off-road car called Zaki, a black hollow flashlight, and nothing of interest. Fantastic. So, this guy has a DUI. Uh, I don't remember him having much of anything else. Uh, we're going to run his name because I don't think, and it's going to be one of the neat things. I'm going to try it here. Um, we're going to do a ped check. Eros, uh, yeah valid with no warrants it doesn't say that he's had any other priors or anything like that that's fine and dandy and we're going to go ahead and come over here we don't need that and we're going to call for a tow truck out of police radio or uh, police smart radio again this is all albo stuff so it's fantastic let's go ahead and get off of the car 
And that's fine and dandy. We're going to get our car off the side of the road here. Awesome. Now, we're going to let people get on through here. And we're going to call for a transport out of... Or not. And, yeah, our car's kind of buggered up a little bit. But nothing that, you know, is going to keep it from functioning. I mean, the push bar did its job. Um, I've got my headlights are still there. Looks like my turn signals are still there and so forth. We just kind of busted up the the front bumper cover and the push bar. Not a big deal. So... There we go. Now we've got uh, the radar is working right. And we're going to go ahead and step out of the vehicle. And we're going to use police smart radio again. And we're going to call for a prisoner transport for this guy. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest in Reptown Canyon. You should be able to see your back up there just off your 20. 10-4. Hello. Nice driving. Gonna get him. And beans were not available for calls. We're gonna go ahead and continue on with what I was talking about beforehand. This guy got charged with DUI. He was over the legal limit. Thanks so much. And with that being said, not a big deal. However, if he was gonna if he was still under the legal limit because he was weaving in and out of the lane of travel, uh, whole nine yards and so forth, I still could have charged him with driving under the influence for the simple fact of I could articulate as a police officer that he was impaired behind the wheel of a car. Now, there's a difference between charging and convicting. Now, I can charge people with all kinds of stuff. However... Attention all units, medical aid requested on Great Ocean Highway, and ambulance requested from uh, Palato Bay, units respond code 3. And of course I, I hit the wrong button. Anyway, uh, basically a conviction is once arraignment has happened where they go up in front of the judge and plead guilty or not guilty, they get given their public defender, they get told what their rights are and so forth by the judge then that's where their public defender, that's where their attorney or whatever else is going to step in and say, hey, this person has a clear record. Uh, this is their first offense. Uh, how about we show a little bit of leniency in the court and we plea it down to, say, a reckless driving? Or they get uh, deferred adjudication, which means basically, okay, they're going to pay X amount of dollars. They're going to agree to go to traffic school. They're going to agree to go to Alcoholics Anonymous, whatever else, as long as this doesn't show up on their record. And that's fine on a first case scenario. However, on a second case scenario, that's when it gets a little bit hairier because on a second case, if they've gone through deferred adjudication, they're going to catch both charges and the whole line. So that's how, as a police officer, you can give somebody a DUI even if they blow under the legal limit. If you can show that they are impaired, uh, like this guy. Dispatch 222, can you give me a plate on a bagger? 80 Frank Adam Sam. Target vehicle 030. license plate. 80 Frank Adam Sam 030. No, 1099. Now this guy is a genius. Buddy, just go ahead and pull it over off the side of the road. Dispatch 222. Traffic on that bike. Uh, we're going to be Route 1 just north of the Polito Bay sign. Uh, one rider, uh, black male, white shirt, uh, light colored jeans. Standby. Alrighty, so here we are. Uh, mainly the reason why I pulled this guy over because he decided to pass me on the right hand side. Uh, hey, buddy. I'm Sir Runt with the Polito Bay Police Department. Need your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance if you have it, please. Dave Mustaine. Hey, man, how's the band going? Anyhow, uh, why were you driving like that? You know why I pulled you over? Uh, there, 
did I have a green light on the right side of my car or something? What, what's up with that? Well, anyway, uh, all right, Mr. Mustaine, hang out with me for a second. I'll be right back. All righty. So we're going to come back here. We're going to use ye olde police computer. No, that's not the door I want to get in. This is the door I want to get in. All righty. So let's open up police radio and see what we've got. So we've got PED database, Dave Mustaine, searching, uh, valid stop twice, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to double check and make sure that his bike does have insurance and valid registration, and it does all the way around. Fantastic. He's been cited twice, and he's going to be cited a third time, but I'm going to use something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to use Patrol Toolkit by uh, Darkmire. So here we go. We're going to talk to this guy, Traffic Infringements, and we're going to actually hopefully it goes to the top uh let's see what we've got we don't have any of that driving under the uh driving vehicle infraction speeding and so forth racing endangerment um let's see aggressive or reckless driving that looks like a good one and let's see uh improper use of lanes so here we are, we're, we're charging him with two different things. So it's gonna give him a total of $870 worth of fines, give him six points on his license, and all's well and good. Now he's crying. He's like, man, I didn't mean to. Alrighty. So there's that, and we're going to go ahead and basically issue him the ticket for 870 bucks, and we're going to call it, uh, well, we'll call it 850 careless driving, and we're going to go ahead and give him the ticket with uh, traffic policer. Now he's going to take off, and all's well and good. So, walk back to our car. They'll dispatch. The, what in the world am I doing? I keep hitting the wrong button to get in my my car, and it's driving me crazy. The bitch, it's driving y'all crazy too. But anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can. There we go. Turn signal still on in my car, and I don't want it to be. There we go. Now let's see if that pulls up, and it does. Fantastic, we fixed it, and my turn signal's not on or any of that. So let's go ahead and kick our headlights on. We've got our radar running, and this. Tell the dispatcher that we're available. Check behind us. Make sure we got nobody coming. And we're going to get back out into traffic and do our duty. So, see you guys in a second. Any unit in the Palito Bay area. Citizens report a suspicious vehicle on Procopio Drive. Dispatch 222. I'll take a look at it. All right, guys, we've got called to a suspicious vehicle. Don't know what it is, but it's it's that station wagon there. All righty. Let's go ahead and pitch up to them. Dispatch 222. Have that vehicle. Uh, and it looks like they're running. Let's 
it's going to be a Regina. License is 28 Queen King Union 022. Target vehicle license plate 28 Queen King Union 022. No 1099. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Stop, oh, just get on the ground. There you go. Mona Gum. Alright, Dispatch 222, can you give me a, a, a deal check? Mona Gum. Valid with no warrants? Fantastic. Come over here. We're going to go ahead and search her before we put her in a car and get that screamer shut off. Nothing of interest? Alright, fantastic. Come back here and get in the car. Oh, what in the hell? No, get in this car. Don't give me no lip. Alright, she's not one to get in the car. Oh, there she is. Oh, we're going to open the door. And we're going to go ahead and give her a breathalyzer. See what's going on. Okay. The reason why I got behind you in the first place is I got told that you were a suspicious vehicle in that neighborhood. What were you doing over there? And then you decide to run. Drive like an idiot and then run. Ugh. All right. All was well and good there. Nothing going on. I know this is, uh, we're blocking up traffic, but, uh, you know, I would rather handle it now rather than than later. It's just an inconvenience. Sorry about that, everybody. So, all right. Interesting. Why, oh, why is search warrant freezing up? What's up with this? Alrighty, cool. We'll just search it again here in a second. Maybe? What is up with this car? Okay, an officer first 30 minutes t-shirt that was sold around 29 minutes ago. Tw nothing of interest and a burnt spoon. So she got paraphernalia on her. And that's about it at this point. So something's up with this car. So I'm curious enough that uh, now why in the world I couldn't get away, get away from the car, get away from the car, get away from the car. See, my game's having a fit. Alrighty, now I can move. Fantastic. No, I'm... What in the hell? I have, I have a better option than that. Let's go ahead. Okay, fine. All right, cool. So let's get away from the vehicle. Pull this up. We're going to go ahead and call for a tow truck to come get this vehicle. We have a possible 503 on Great Ocean Highway. Respond code 3. A dispatch 222. Somebody else is going to have to handle that. I can't do it all tonight. But anyway, here we are. Let's go ahead and turn around here while we've got the opportunity. Turn those off. Turn those back on. That guy's freaking out. 
Now we're going to go ahead and transport this person to jail. Dispatch 222, beginning mileage 12345, uh, en route to the Polito Bay substation uh, with one black female, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, again, that's calling my mileage, uh, which is going to be to not only protect the, the subject that's in the car, but also myself. Uh, showing that, okay, this is the route that I took. This is how long it took. This was my mileage. That way it shows that I didn't take her off in the woods and, and beat her into confessing to running from the police deer. Oh. Oh. He, oh, he got up. And I didn't mess my car up. <laughs> got it. That's a win-win. At least here in Tennessee, I don't know about Los Santos. I'm going to say it is, but uh, in Tennessee, where I where I live, it is basically a roadkill state where uh, if you kill it with a car, you can take it home and eat it. So we didn't kill him anyway, but uh, I'm sure he would have been mighty tasty on the dinner table. Yeah, a big old rack on him. Anyway, dispatch 222. I'll be out at Polito Bay. Uh, with one ending mileage, one, two, three, four, six. Can you send somebody out to get them? Citizens reporting. A civilian requiring assistance on Great Ocean Highway. Dispatch 222. I'll take a look at that motorist assist. Stand by. Alrighty, well, looks like we have a stranded motorist that's calling for help. The only thing I'm going to do is what I would have done on the road, and it all falls down into civil liability. Uh, I'm not a mechanic. I'm a police officer. So, uh, with that said, the only thing I can do is make sure that you don't get hit uh, while you're uh, messing with your car and so forth. Uh, as well as uh, Dispatch 222. I'm out with that vehicle. Anyway, uh, all I can do is make sure that they don't get hit by anybody. Dispatch 222, plate on that vehicle is going to be 01 Charles Nora Edward 969. It's going to be on a ruiner. Target vehicle license plate. Zero one Charles Nora Edward nine six nine no ten ninety nine two twenty two you received thank you. Well anyhow, uh, mainly what it is is I, I'm not a mechanic, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to this person. Hey buddy, uh, what seems to be the problem here? Ah uh, here I'll tell you what we're going to do something a little bit different I think, uh, and I'm going to see if it'll let me actually do a traffic stop on this vehicle alrighty so it shows he stopped I'll get back in the car oh you moron get on the ground get on the ground get on the ground police stop whatever the hell you're doing oh ho, ho, ho. you jack wagon you just earned yourself a trip to jail. You hit me with a car, and then you come at me like you're going to want a box. You are one strange cookie. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and use this good old ped check and check out Mr. John Evans and see what dispatch has to say about him. Valid with no warrants. All right, partner, come here for a second. You got anything in your pockets I need to know about? Hand grenades, rocket launchers, anything like that? All off of a motorist assist call, a headless Lisa Spaghetti blow-up doll, a seems legit t-shirt on top of a there it is baseball cap. Alrighty, so really nothing of interest other than the strange headless blow-up doll, uh, but I'm not going to ask him, so here, have a seat. Uh, you've earned a free ticket to go Get see a judge. And behave. Now, uh, I'm going to search his car, incident to arrest, uh, that, and he struck me with the car. Uh, so I'm kind of torqued off at him, 
So I'm going to tow it. I'll just be flat out honest with you. You tried to run me over with a car and then came at me like it was my fault that you put the car in reverse and hit me with it. Um, no. It's not going to work. No, 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 no. Anyway, let's see how it goes here. A stained vanilla unicorn napkin with a strange odor. Yeah. And nothing of interest. Nothing else of interest. Fantastic. Step over here. Pull up police smart radio. Again, Albo, this is fantastic. I love this. Uh, it is one of the coolest mods out there right now. It is a lot better than the original police radio. A lot easier to navigate. A lot easier to set up. Very customizable all the way around. Again, guys, check out the video. It is fantastic. So, dispatch 222. I have one Hispanic male uh, being route Polito Bay uh, with with him. Beginning mileage 12346. So, we're going to go ahead and. I'm going to fuck you up unless you let me out. Get uh, on now. Hey, you know what, buddy? The best thing you can do is exercise your right to keep your mouth oh. shut. So, just relax there, genius. So, anyhow, we're going to take our free right-hand turn. Don't give me no lip, son. I'll mess your day up. All righty, so we're going to pull in here. Dispatch 222. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. And we're going to take John Evans in ourselves. Unit 2. Oh, Robert 22. Or not. or not. I broke it. I think I'm going to buy the retirement place now and rent it. Interest oh, rates no. Oh, I broke no. it. I don't give a shit. Oh, well. I'll see you guys in a second when I get back to Polito Bay. All right, guys. I think this is going to be the last traffic stop of the night. Dispatch 222. Can I get a, I guess, a plate check on a Carver Nazar uh, 29 Young Lincoln Ida 103? Plate 29 Young Lincoln Ida 103, no 1099. Dispatch 222. I have that subject pulled over right in front of ammunition on US Route 1. Vehicles occupied one time. Uh, standby one. Hey, buddy, Officer Runt with the Polito Bay Police Department. It looks like your car's been into a little bit of an issue. Uh, can I have your driver's license and so forth, please? All right, Mr. Fernando, uh, is there a reason why you're driving your car like this? It has no taillights, has no rear bumper, has no front bumper, has a uh, one headlight. Uh, what What's going on, buddy? Uh... uh uh, well, okay, why were you on the phone? It was your mother? Okay, were you telling her about the shape of your car? Uh, anyway, have you had anything to drink or anything? Uh, all day, every day. Well, you know what? We're going to check something out real quick. I'll be right back with you. All right, so here's this. Okay, the guy is saying that he's already spoken with, say, a Blaine County Sheriff's deputy, a... Uh, San Andreas Highway Patrol officer, another Polito Bay police officer, something. So I'm going to check with dispatch and see if there's any record of, of somebody, you know, having an issue with this car. Uh, either way, it is unsafe to drive. It has no taillights, no nothing, but we're going to go ahead and check his, uh, we're going to go ahead and check his uh, information. So, that being said, we're going to go ahead and see. I'm going to make sure he has insurance and all that as it stands. Valid and valid. No issues. Okay, cool. PED database. Uh, we're going to double check. No warrants. have been stopped once. Okay, well, I don't know when he was stopped, and I don't know if it was uh, by, like he said, you know, just a while ago. But anyway, we're going to come out here. We're going to talk to him. Uh, hopefully not get our door taken off by somebody. 
All right, uh, Mr. Fernando, and here's the deal, okay? I'm not going to let you continue on down the road. That's, it's a safety hazard to everybody. It's dark. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to call you a taxi cab. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to get your car out of here for you and we'll have it towed where you need it. However, it will be at your expense. So... So, that's that. Oh! Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Fantastic. Well, we're going to go ahead and call for a tow truck for this fellow's vehicle. Citizens report a criminal resisting arrest on Great Ocean Highway. And that's going to be that. So, guys, it's been fantastic. And I hope to see you again soon. Uh, my next live stream is going to be not tomorrow, but the week from tomorrow. It's going to be on the 28th of January. Can't wait to see you guys there. And until next time, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Check out that elbow video that I've got linked in the description below. And we'll see you next time. Citizens Bye now. A possible disturbance on Palato Boulevard. Units respond code 2.